Yeah, welcome to my lecture on psychotraumatology. Before starting my lecture, I would like to share with you our initiative of two slides for future and give you some information about climate change. Today, I would like to talk to you why we climate change probably consider not to be that dangerous as it is. And normally, if you are in danger, there are some distinct signals that give you the feeling that you are in danger. This is mainly when you yourself is threatened or your family is in danger and then you decide intuitively to fight or probably to flee. There are some distinct signals that are needed to give you the feeling you are in danger and that is mainly that you can consider something is threatening, that it's concrete, it's immediate and it's not doubtable. This might be very different with climate change because indeed climate change is a danger for us and our society but it happens very slow and it's more or less not immediate. And it's not easy to understand and to capture climate change with all of its facets and climate change more or less remains vague and mainly it's not directly sensible. And a further reason for this is that the enemy is missing. And there is no one we can blame at, like we do maybe with uh, other topics of our life. And who is to blame for? And if we look at the reason that climate change is happening, it would be us, we had to blame ourselves. And so the result of this may be that Indeed, 90% of the people in North America, in Europe and in Japan, they indeed believe that climate change is happening and global warming is happening, but there is only a little portion of the society that believes that this global warming is man-made. So we will come back to that topic later, but now I will start with my lecture on psychotraumatology. 